Mayor Sadiq Khan of London clearly does not come from a culture that values uh, diplomacy and tact and style and grace and not letting your citizens be knifed all the time. Welcome to London, the stabbing capital of the world. I mean, that's, that's Mayor Khan's great city, right? And yet Trump is the threat to the safety of the West? Okay, you stone cold loser. Guess what, dude? Your city is falling apart. It's a disaster. Trump is the least of your concerns. So they don't have guns in the UK, and so the criminals, they love to just get super stabby. Ah! That's what they do in London. And of course, Mayor Khan is saying, oh, just put your knives in a repository. Just put them down. You'll be safe, won't you? I mean, really? Will you be safe? Because then the criminals, they look, and they are the scum that they are, and they see, oh, here's a knife depository. I'm going to take these knives and go stabbing everyone in sight. Oh, it is a sight to behold. Even before President Donald Trump arrived in London, Mayor Sadiq Khan, he's throwing a little tantrum because I guess, I guess that's the Sadiq way. Mayor Khan, he publicly objected to giving Trump a ceremonial state visit. So, you know, Trump, Trump being the counterpuncher that he is, he wrote on Twitter, quote, Sadiq Khan who by all accounts has done a terrible job as mayor of London, has been foolishly nasty to the visiting president of the United States, by far the most important ally of the United Kingdom. He is a stone cold loser who should focus on crime in London, not me. He then came out comparing Sadiq Khan to Bill de Blasio. I mean, ouch, if you're gonna be compared to anyone, you don't want it to be Bill de Blasio. So he called Khan and by connection, Bill de Blasio, quote, very dumb and incompetent. And so Khan came out with this really just excellent video attacking Trump in return. President Trump, if you're watching this, your values and what you stand for are the complete opposite of London's values and the values in this country. We think diversity is not a weakness, diversity is a strength. We respect women and we think they're equal to men. We think it's important to safeguard the rights of all of us, particularly the vulnerable and the marginalised. When you are the president of the USA, you have a massive leadership role. You have a massive platform as well. People follow what you do. What we've seen over the last few years in the USA is a rolling back of much of the progress made in previous decades. It's really important we continue to move forwards. What we've seen in the USA is a rolling back of the reproductive rights of uh, women. We've got a situation now where some states in the USA are making it almost impossible for women to have the rights to have an abortion. One well, has to look at the history books to realize the consequences of women not having the right to choose over their own body. What we can't afford to do is return to backstreet abortions. What we can't afford to see is a return to the situation in yesterday decades where you had women have no control over their bodies. Oh, I heard, I blah, 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 blah. You know what? There's no we in this, Mayor Khan. We are nothing. This is about the people of Alabama. This is not about you. This is about the people of Georgia, the people of Mississippi. There's no we when it comes to their rights and their decisions and what they want for their state, Mayor Khan. You've ruined your town. So please, do us all a favor and let the people make their own decisions for how they want their towns of their states to be governed instead of imposing your own ignorant will on them. Despite being compared to Mayor de Blasio of New York, you know what? London is actually in a lot worse shape than New York. Last year, London was reported to have more crime than New York. At least 36 stabbings and 131 killings in London occurred last year in 2018. According to figures released by the London Assembly Police and Crime Committee, there were 157 murders between 2017 and 2018 that's compared to 109 the 12 months before, which is a 44% increase. Violent robbery, up. Burglary, up. Youth killings, up. By 30%, there was a sharp increase in the number of rapes by 18%. Knife crime offenses, up by 21% and shootings up by 23% from the year's previous data. And the year before that, there were four separate ISIS-inspired attacks, four in a year. And the mayor is basically turning a blind eye to the growing Islamic problem, the problem of Islamic militancy. Last year, while Sadiq Khan was getting hit for his inability to tackle knife crime in the capital, you know, the knife crime which caused several deaths since the beginning of the year, here's what happened. You want to know what happened? London was treated to terrific knife attacks. 